No, who won exactly? That's right. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Molina93 here. Today is going to be my full review of the NBA Finals 2017. Wasn't the NBA's over since last week? Of course, you are right about that. But last week I had a hard time and that is why I haven't made a video since my videos of E3. But I promised you all that I was going to do a review of the NBA Finals. So here it is. And I cannot break any promise. And that's why I'm doing it right now. So let's get started, shall we? And yes, I took some notes from the last games of this NBA Finals championship and I'm gonna do in the right order who scored the most, who won in, in that certain game so let's begin in game 1, to be honest with you, I haven't watched the game 1 but I saw the application that I got downloaded with my cell phone and I was watching who is scoring the most and in this game they won the Warriors with 113 while the Cavs is scored 91 yeah first victory comes to Golden State Warriors okay game two goes to Golden State Warriors with 132 points while the Cavs they scored 113 this game seems okay from what I've seen. There were some good moments that I that I did enjoy the most. Then the then the last then the last game in game one. But yeah, Golden State Warriors they won in game two, so two victories. Okay, game three, which is my favorite from this NBA Finals, the Golden State Warriors they scored 118, while the Cavs. 113 so close doesn't it but yeah it seems better to me than the game one and two I mean I don't know you guys but I like game three better and they were so close so that means Golden State Warriors they won three with three victories straight okay game four the the Golden State Warriors, they scored 116, while the Cavs, they scored 137 points. So yeah, this is basically a comeback, a comeback for the Cavs, and they won. This is the only game that they won during the NBA Finals, so there you have it. The game five which is the final game by the way with Golden State Warriors 129 while the Cavs they scored 120 so that means that Golden State Warriors just won their championships so yeah Golden State Warriors with four victories and the Cavs only one oh there you have it what do I think about this NBA Finals of 2017 to me, it seems underwhelming, to me in my opinion. From what I remember, last year it was better, it was epic, it was engaging because the Golden State Warriors, they're winning from the first three games, while the Cavs, they were making an awesome comeback with three victories straight also, and in game seven, they were chasing to each other who is scoring the most and you don't know who is going to win who was going to win on game 7 and it seems very epic to me during that time but in this year I was expecting a lot better from what I've seen I mean so yeah game 3 it marks as my favorite yeah the other games seem the they were not impressive to me. I mean, there were some good moments when they were scoring with three points and doing those awesome dunks into them. But yeah, it is what it is. And I really hope that the next year will be more epic, much better. 
from what I've seen. And yes, last year I was with the Golden State Warriors and they lost against the Cavs. And in this year, I was also I was with the Golden State Warriors against the Cavs. And I'm happy with that, but at the same time, it seems not impressive to me in this year. Last year was better from what I remember. But yeah, so all of you Lebron James fanboys calling him the King James, Lebron James being the king of the NBA, and from what I remember that, Lebron James said that he's the best player of all time. I mean, what is the point of, of saying that? And I have to agree with Michael Jordan that saying who is the greatest team of all time, which is which it seems like a better question than being the, than a question of who is the best player of all time. If you don't know what I mean, I'm gonna put in a link below from someone who made like Michael Jordan made a response to Lebron James. But you know what I mean. But I can tell you that the NBA Finals 2017, to me, it seems a lot better and more enjoyable than E3 from gaming. Because this E3, it really sucked. And it was very, very disappointing. But in the NBA Finals, I was not disappointed, but it didn't seem very impressive to me compared to last year and in 2015. But, but yeah, there you have it. And I know it is a late review for the NBA Finals 2017, but like I said, I had a hard time last week. Next video, I'm gonna tell you more about that, but in this video, I wanted to do a review of the NBA Finals and since I love basketball and I'm a huge basketball, I'm, ah, sorry. Since I'm a big basketball fan, I wanted to do this and as I promised. So, there you have it. No, I'm not a fanboy of Golden State Warriors. Like what you think. <laughs> I could care less which team is better, which team, which player is the best from the NBA's. I mean, everybody has their own preferences, their own opinions, so don't take that too serious, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come for you guys to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a like button below and comment in the section below of what you think about the NBA Finals 2017. It is your choice, so thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, peace, just like that.